so this next knot we're going to do is the half Windsor knot. It's a step up, I think, from the four in hand knot. It gives you more, it gives you a triangle shape, more symmetrical knot, um, that classic tie look that a lot of guys are looking for. And it's great for ties that are made out of medium to heavy fabric. And honestly, I think it works with any type of collar. Some people suggest you should wear it with a spread collar, but you could probably go with a straight collar as well. What are you going to do now? Start off with a tie around your neck, the wide end on your right, the narrow end on your left, with the wide end draping a little bit lower than the narrow end. You're going to take the wide end, bring it across the front of the narrow end, just like that, and then you're going to wrap it around again. All right, so it looks like that. And you're going to take the, narrow, the wide end and you're going to bring it down through the loop between your neck and your tie. Just like that. All right. So you notice you kind of have a triangle starting to form right now. Bring your wide end out to the right. Now what you're going to do is you're going to take the wide end and bring it across from right to left over the knot. So it should look like that. And then you're going to take the wide end and bring it up through the loop again. Let it drape down just like that. And then you have this the knot forming now. All you got to do is take the wide end and slide it through that first, first loop there. And again, working on that dimple, you want to get it stickier, just like you did with the, the foreign hand. And all you got to do is just tighten it up. Half Windsor done.